Hello, how are you going? Today, you are going to be looking at a tutorial where we look at two of our favorite soldering irons. Now, these guys are awesome. They're by Hacko. I'm Sam from Core Electronics, and today we've got the FX uh, 888D uh, soldering iron, soldering station, I should say, and the Hacko Red 60 Watt iron. And really, we're gonna be unboxing these, taking a look at some of the features of them, and looking at which one is gonna be right for you. Now, we go into some of the technical details and you know uh, pros and cons in the article, but we'll actually go through and look at you know, how physically they would sit on your workbench and which one is gonna suit your, your project. So let's take a look. This is our soldering station from Hakko. So we have a nice little instruction manual here, some uh, cardboard boxing. So there's the wand, the soldering wand that'll connect up to our station. Take that, um, zip that there. All right, there's our soldering iron stand. Nice uh, nice all metal design. We've got a high quality sponge and a brass, uh, brass cleaner. And we have the station itself. So I'm going to get rid of some of this packaging and we can take a look. All right, so as you can see, we've already got uh, quite a bit more to go on here. So in the box, you'll get uh, the manual, which is down there the soldering iron, really good quality iron. It's a great uh, Hakko tip on here which, with a plug, which will connect to the soldering station, the soldering uh, soldering stand where you can you know, leave your iron uh, while it's hot and you're not using it, and the cleaner. Uh, so this is a soldering station. It looks a little bit different to a soldering iron. Now the key difference here is that with a soldering iron, a standalone iron like this guy, uh, the heater element, you know, the control circuitry, it's a very simple device, is built into the handle here. And you simply have something you can plug into the wall and solder with. Now this is awesome to keep in the toolbox. Something like this, if you get yourself a good quality one, it's only gonna cost you no more than, you know, say 20, 30 bucks, which is great. It's super portable. But if you're working on a bench top and you want, uh, you know, you're working with different types of components, different solder profiles, so lead free versus leaded, solder have slightly different melting temperatures and ideal soldering temperatures. You know, you want something that has a really good stand. Uh, you're gonna want a soldering station. Now this guy is a digital soldering station from Hacko. So it's got the connector for your, the wand. And this just has the heating element uh, in it and it draws its power and, you know, control circuitry from the, the station here. Now you, with this uh, this unit, you can adjust the temperature digitally. It's got a, a little readout there, an a seven segment readout. Um, you can control the temperature up, down. You can set uh, five profiles, so five sort of presets of temperature for soldering. Uh, it's got everything. It's got a password, protection system in case you don't want people messing with your, you know, your soldering iron profiles or you've got kids. Um, you know, you don't want to accidentally turn them on and burn themselves, everything like that. Electrostatic safe certified device, fantastic quality. So which one would you choose? Well, I guess it depends on what you're doing. Ideally, they both have their place in a toolkit. They both have their place in your collection of electronic tools. Because as I said, this guy, your standalone uh, soldering iron, super high quality unit, is going to be right at home in your toolbox, you know, in your on-the-go kind of kit. If you're out somewhere, not at your workbench, you need to repair a cable or you know, fix up a, you know, a, a quick solder joint that might have gone dry, something like that, then you're going to want to keep one of these here. You don't want to have to lug this around and find somewhere to put it and all the rest. It's too much effort. But on a bench, this is the clear winner. It takes up almost no room, super slim profile, which is awesome. And it's going to give you adjustable temperature control, all those wonderful things we talked about. Precise to, I think, you know, plus minus a degree. I could be wrong, but it's around that. Really uh, accurate, accurate device. And it's got all those extra digital features. And it's not that expensive, uh, which is super cool. High quality stand, all, uh, all metal. So, yeah, I hope this has given you a bit of ins an insight into some of the differences. They've both got, got replaceable tips, both going to last you ages and ages and ages, years and years and years, if you look after them properly. Um, and that's all. The one thing, I guess, that you could take away is that the soldering station comes with a stand and uh, your brass uh, wool cleaner and your sponge, uh, whereas your standalone doesn't have that. It's got a simple little pop-up stand just so you, know, you don't put it down and burn something. 
but you're going to want to maybe just pick up an, ex an extra stand that has a built-in uh, sponge or a cleaner so that you can look after your tip properly. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. If you're actually looking at how to solder, take a look at our Soldering 101 tutorial. That's where we go into the techniques and what is solder and all that kind of thing. So if you're a bit confused about soldering, head over there, check it out. Otherwise, these are our two awesome soldering iron products that I recommend for your workshop. That's all, that's all for today, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.